But I'm super excited. This is gonna be one crazy explore. There's there's a car graveyard. Um, there's everything left behind, and the architecture is just super unique. Oh, what? There's oil paintings. I can't believe this is all here. I was not expecting this today. pack up. I'm about to explore a really crazy place for you guys. We're gonna be hitting up an abandoned mansion. Complete time capsule though and this is probably one of the best abandoned mansions I'll ever explore down the south. Just a brief summary. The mansion was built around the early 1900s and a couple used to live there. When they got old they passed away. They had a daughter and a son and they inherited the property but they just haven't kept up with it at all or done anything. So that's what happened and it's been abandoned for 10 years. So since like 2010. But I'm super excited. This is gonna be one crazy explore. There's there's a car graveyard. Um, there's everything left behind, and the architecture is just super unique. So we're gonna be smashing it today. But one thing we're gonna smash before we go is to smash the like button, guys, for the YouTube algorithm. But yeah, let's get going. We just had to walk through this car graveyard. I'm in the backyard of an abandoned mansion right now, and it's just filled with cars everywhere. I can already tell that this is gonna be a great exploration. So we're walking right now to the mansion. I got big banks right in front of me, doing the limbo. Ugh. We got Hammer Worldwide. Where'd Janet go? Kind of looks like there was a house over here at one point. All right, so we just made it into the backyard of the mansion. I'm sweating pretty bad right now. It's not the heat that gets me down here, it's the humidity. I'm seeing a lot of cool things just in this one room. So I know this is gonna be amazing. And the fact that it's a mansion, time capsules like this are very hard to find for a band mansion, so I'm happy. Wow, these are the nicest chairs I've seen in a long time. They kind of remind me of the chairs from the abandoned French mansion that I explored last year. Got an old cassette player. Let's see what else is there in this one room. At first, I thought this was like a casket, but I don't think it is. We got Monopoly. The furniture in here, though, looks pretty expensive. We got a whole bunch of Christmas decorations right here in the corner. Thought those chairs look nice, but look at this one. This one is gorgeous. Sucks that's just rotting away in here. You can't have a mansion without a piano. The brand of it is Roller and Campo. We got some kid toys. They were trying to pack up because I'm seeing a lot of boxes. I don't know why they didn't take them. Wow, you got really nice things inside. So we just found more memorabilia, and we got a huge chandelier. That must be heavy. Wow, that is super nice. You can hardly make up who it is. They definitely got damage. I think water damage. Okay, so I just made it to the front entrance. 
pretty grand looking doorway. And then you just turn around and instantly the stairway is just right in front of you. We just explored that room. So we still gotta explore this side over here. Here's the bathroom. At least one of them. Wallpaper is nice. I can't believe just how much it's scattered. We have a lot of written letters on the floor. This cabinet too is unbelievable. And I like this train. It's so strange how everything is scattered. It's like they were trying to pack up, but then something happened for them to stop, and they just suddenly left. I'm hoping we can find more information as we explore. We got some more Christmas decorations here. Whoa, look at this. I thought that was a grandfather clock for a second, but it's actually a closet. You even got locks. Well, nothing's inside, that's for sure. I'm able to move it with just a tap. And damn, they, they left the washer and dryer too. Now, I'm assuming that this room was more of a library. Alright, continuing on the explore. I guess we'll cut through here. But look at that, everything's just piled up against the door. I like how everything is just integrated into the walls because it gives the room much more space and a lot of cool antiques. I swear, every time I explore an abandoned place, there's just a bunch of Christmas decorations laying around. I mean, we have some holiday cups right here. I like this Santa cup a lot. I hope you guys can see that, but that's a car at the front driveway and it's left abandoned. What? A okay, you, there's a dead mouse. But here's the kitchen connecting to the dining room. Some medicine. Just want to see what meds they were taking. Hydrocodeine. If you happen to know what that's for, leave a comment down below. The vines are already growing through the window. This is like the living room. I guess I should put some light on. I'm assuming they had three kids because there's three little vehicles over here. And the bikes, oh my gosh. They're just left there. Ew, I just stepped on bones. I guess it looks like it was from a bird. This looks like it could have been another room for an office. I'm not gonna lie, they were pretty big hoarders. There's so many things, I don't even think you can like organize them completely. Because it's just too much. Just got done exploring the bottom floor. It's time to head upstairs. I've been enjoying the video. Guys, if you've been enjoying so far, don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and let me know down in the comments. So much paper scattered on the stairs. I'm not sure if someone did that on purpose for a photo, but it's a cool shot to take. Alright, now you gotta be a little bit careful walking these steps. 
Because the paper is slippery. I almost slipped and fell. It's like slipping on a banana peel. Looks like there's only three bedrooms from what I'm seeing. Okay. This is a cool color scheme. I don't know why, it reminds me a lot of like Christmas. But I think this was like a kid's bedroom too. Oh, what? There's oil paintings. But not only that, there's more. There's this Egyptian thing. It's heavy too. This could be something rare, you never know. Well, that's awesome. It's got King Tut, the Scarabs. I'm always fascinated by Egypt. I really want to go there one day. So that's that's awesome for me to see. I used to be obsessed with Egypt. I used to watch Yu-Gi-Oh all the time and like all the documentaries about Egypt. So to see this here is awesome. Let me know down in the comments what's your favorite country. Oh, we got a little drum set over here. I don't know where that styrofoam came from. Let's take a closer look to the paintings. That's gorgeous, guys. What do you think? This is a cool looking drum set as well. And we got a record player here. A little bit more modern because you can play records and turn on the radio. Wow, and we got some glass art. This is an awesome room. I want to take a photo, but everything is just all over the place. I don't really know a good angle, but I'm gonna try my best to take one shot. I know the dude's occupation. There's a sign right here that says, doctor, blah, blah, blah. I'm blurring that out. Dentist, 8.30 to 12 noon. So I just made it across to the second bedroom. And yeah, this was definitely where the kids would stay. Got little tiny beds. A lot of kids stuff that I'm seeing on the floor. Puzzles, games, movies. Even the bathroom. You can tell it's meant for a kid. It's pretty clean. It's just left like this. That's wild. That's just like thousands of toys left behind. But let's go now see the master bedroom. <sighs> right, so I've been down south for about 10 plus days. I think I'm on my seventh day actually, so about a week. This is hands down the best place I've explored so far. It's a master bedroom. Oh my gosh. This is insane. It's a lot of kick clothes and diapers all over the floor. I really hope the family's okay. Someone like wrote that on there. This chair is exactly from like the abandoned mansion I did in Ohio. Hmm. Can see some letters over here. They're like bank statements and it says he owes a lot of money. This is a gorgeous fireplace. Hey, look, it even still has wood. Guys, you know what time it is. Every time I see a mirror, you gotta promote the merch. I ain't wearing one currently, but still selling the hoodies. 
Go and copy them at freedomxwarner.com. This is how they look like right here. And we've been selling a lot. And I've been hearing so much good comments that you guys love the quality and how it looks. So, yeah, if you haven't got a hoodie yet, go and cop them. Link in the description. Dressers and cabinets still have all the clothes. You we got panties and socks. Bed frame is unbelievable, gorgeous. You know, there's a pool right there. It's kind of ruining the shot. I might move it later. Look at the carving on that. You just know that this is like worth thousands of dollars. Got a pretty big walk-in closet. Right next to it was the bathroom. Kind of strange that they have stuff inside. Still got the chandelier still left inside. You know that no one really knows about this place because nothing has been really stolen. Look at the lamp. It's got like the Egyptian design on it. Oh my gosh, we even have like purses. clean the bed a little bit to take a decent photo. Let me know what you think of this photo. I hope you guys have been keeping up with the videos. I know it's been a while since I upload constantly, but I'm back on the grind and I'm not gonna stop. Every Saturday, 12 p.m. Eastern time, that's a new time when I'm gonna premiere my videos. So keep that in mind, it's no more 8 p.m. or 6 p.m. It's gonna be 12 p.m. Eastern time every Saturday. And if you've not, I already upload a video from the Southern series that you should check out. You can click it right up here. It was also on a band mansion. I have a feeling the wife must have been like a fashion designer. Or maybe she just made clothes for fun. All this fabric's just left here. Whoa. This is a really nice umbrella. Look at that hat too. I almost missed this little room in the corner, but I think it's just a tiny hallway that connects to the other bedrooms. Kind of spooked out. That mattress says I'm watching you. Wow, look at the clothes. This looks like it leads to a balcony. Can't really get to the other room from here. So I'm gonna turn around. All right guys, so I think it's time we head outside, take a look around more. I know in the beginning I did my intro, I showed you guys some cars, but I didn't have time to show you guys throughout. At least now, on the way back, to our car, we can explore the outside. Just thought it would be a better strategy to do that. Okay, that room back there has Whoa. vintage clothing. Okay. There's purses, there's hats, there's toys. Dang, they had their own store? Oh, look at the gas station. I missed that. Wow. Yeah, this is not a quickie. It's a huge right. antique shop. Nope. I can't believe this is all here. Was not expecting this today. Like these are really 
vintage toys. Like, they're worth a lot. And he got the old, um, dolls here, too. Do you know what type of dolls these are? Expensive. Yeah. Yeah, I'm guessing they're really expensive. If you, if you guys happen to know, leave a comment down below. Look at this doll. They're huge, too. They're not like your ordinary dolls. Like, a lot of time and work were put into making these. This kind of creeps me out, actually. Oh, they're everywhere. This is a haunted dollhouse. Oh, my gosh. And they're just left abandoned like this? This one has so much cobwebs on it. This is so creepy. Look at this one doll. It's just smiling with his head against the glass. Look at the rare car collectibles too. This is too sad to see. Yeah, bro, this is nuts. I was only expecting a few dolls, no, not hundreds of them. Yep. Man, look at those wood carvings. We got an alligator. Yo, can you hold this? I want to show the guys. Look at that. That's all hand carved. They did a lot of cool things here for the shop. Dolls, wooden. Oh, what? There's a wooden armadillo carving? That might be the real shell. Oh, the what the? Wait, was that part of their carving or did it just die here? Is this a gun? I'm not gonna hold the trigger. Dude, is this a real gun? Nah. BB gun. It's heavy. It's a BB gun though. Wild. Okay, I guess across here are gonna be dresses. We're behind the counter now. Smell bat poop, so bats probably come here during the summer. Wow. These clothes. Oh, these clothes are crazy. I wonder if the tag says how much it is. I think that says like $149. Wow. They probably made this too since I said like, because remember in the bedroom we saw like all the fabric and stuff? So they probably made clothes. I think the wife was definitely like a fashion designer. Like a pretty famous one. Look at this doll. Looks like it's just sleeping. All right guys, before we start heading out to the cars, I really want to show you the front of the mansion. I mean, there's still abandoned cars all over the property. Unbelievable. I might take a drone shot for this, for the photo, just to get on even, just to get on an even level with it. There's the car just parked right there. Oh my god. All right, there's hundreds of bees. Yo, you see the bees? All right, we can't really get close to it. So I think that's it guys. We just gotta go through the car graveyard again. We're out of here. I'm mean, gonna miss this place a lot. This was definitely one for the books. Like, 
like I said at the beginning when we walked through here, this used to be a house in the woods and, cut, and it got completely destroyed. There's just so many cars left behind. We got like a little tractor thing. They're all rusted up. I can't even tell what kind of car they were. So if you guys happen to know, let me know. That's a Cadillac? Wow. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, I see the emblem now. Bro, these guys were really rich and wealthy. Yeah, and it definitely belonged to them. We got a Ford over here. Oh yeah, that is a Ford Mustang. Wow. Yeah. Thinking that might be a Corvette. Got some old Volkswagen Beetles. So that's a wrap, ending it now guys. What an incredible exploration and abandoned mansion this was. Definitely check out the rest of the guys. No, Hammer Worldwide, Big Banks. So be sure to check them out, links down in the description. Uh, we're, we're just waiting on Jan right now to pick us up. She also got some good photos, so check her out too. Um, but man, it was just so crazy how everything was just a time capsule, everything attacked. So this place was truly a gem that we hit and we're probably one of the first ones to explore it. But let me know down in the comments what you think and your thoughts on everything. But yeah, we're going to hit up another place after this. So until next time, guys, stay tuned for more videos. And I'll see you all next Saturday, 12 p.m. Eastern Time. Peace.